I think that not being able to maintain proper circulation using the techniques we've had up to this point has been a key element of why patients do not survive codes. Give him a couple breaths and we'll sit him up. I need to strip him down. Okay, get the board. Yeah. Okay, let's get him down. Watch his head. his head. I'll get the defib pads. Let's start CPR. Some of the old principles still apply. The airway, breathing, circulation, the mnemonic that we've all grown up on still applies. The okay, airway size and approach to the airway has all been standardized. But the last piece of that puzzle was the standardization of the circulation, of the chest compression. Hey, guys, what do you have? 62-year-old male witnessed cardiac arrest by his wife, called 911. All tissues in the body are dependent on uh, delivery of oxygen uh, through uh, blood circulation. Uh, the brain and the heart uh, are among the two organs that depend on uh, that most heavily. Uh, in a cardiac arrest, uh, two areas that are frequently uh, damaged uh, are the brain uh, as well as the heart. The autopulse works uh, better than a CPR even by a skilled person uh, because of its uh, design and this has been corroborated by studies. It can be done automatically obviously by the device itself freeing the uh, attention and uh, hands uh, to do other things. It provides uh, more of a uh, artificial blood pressure if you will to uh, continue to supply circulation and thereby oxygen to the brain cells. Use of the autopulse device, uh, I believe, enhances uh, brain circulation and uh, minimizes brain injury during cardiac arrest and uh, lack of circulation by preserving brain function. Uh, the patient is able to recover much more quickly and much more completely. Everything we do right now is based on our two hands and manual CPR. But with the circulatory rates and the perfusions that the autopulse delivers, we will change everything we do in EMS when we treat cardiac arrest patients. Because we'll rewrite the book on resuscitation. Uh, I firmly believe that. I've been a paramedic for over 20 years and I've never seen a device that does what the autopulse does. You okay? Yeah. It would be a quantum leap, I think, into the technological future to be now able to provide the chest compression with the autopulse. It does work. I've seen it work. Mr. Motes would tell you it works. If I were asked by the budget committee about a device to take our response team to the 21st century when we were asked to respond to codes either in the emergency department or on the floor, I would definitely recommend the autopulse.